Hey everyone, welcome back to Talking Sense. So today, um, we're gonna do a bit of a big one, I guess. Um, you know, it's kind of turn or turning into a bit of a controversial one, it seems, which I don't understand, but it's Amirage Black Iris. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, Amirage Interlude Black Iris. Um, it came out, I, I don't think it's actually out yet. So I, I bought this in a pre-sale and they had like a, a, a pre-sale sale, I guess. Uh, and so I, I just bought it blind because I really like Interlude and I always, you know, and I really like Iris. So this to me was like, mm, no brainer really. Um, it came out, like I think most people get their hands on them like today and yesterday and such. Um, I got mine yesterday uh, and it seemed like a lot it didn't go down very well so let's give you like a bit of a skinny on this if, if you know if you're here because you just want to know should you buy it or not um, th this is like pretty much the lowdown if you like interlude you'll like this if you don't like interlude you're not gonna like this it, it's you know if you've already got interlude and you think do I need this uh, no you don't um, if, if you've got interlude and you think you might like this more well then then you've got a decision to make because the long and the short of it is this is a flanker and it's that simple like this is interlude through and through you spray it it smells like interlude it has a few differences um but they're not big they're not this is definitely not reinventing the wheel this is just interlude but with a few I think personally key differences but it but if you're say I think a lot of people might have bought this expecting it to be something really crazily different and it and it isn't um, and I think they might have been end up disappointing them for me that's it, it's exactly what I expected so I, I was kind of okay with it so if you want to know what it actually smells like now you want to listen because um, you know you might have a decision to make um, personally I, I'll tell you right right from the start like I this is my favorite interlude now I think this is better than the original but that height is heavily dependent on my own tastes we'll go through what it actually smells like and then it's up to you you, know, you make your own mind up which one you need I do think you only need one having one of these pretty much makes the other one redundant unless you're like a hype interlude fan so yeah let's go so the notes for this new interlude, it's, it's, it's pretty simple even in the note listing. Um, it's pretty much similar to the old um, interlude. It's got bergamot, rosemary and violet leaf in the top. Uh, middle notes of oris, amber, olibanum, labdanum, myrrh and vanilla. And the base notes are leather, agarwood, uh, patchouli, sandalwood and cedar. So it's very similar to the other interlude. Even the note listing, I say, shouldn't have surprised anyone what this really smelt like because even the note listing is essentially interlude but with iris and violet leaf. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, what does it smell like? Let's give it a go. I say, you can pretty much, if you know interlude, you know the scent of this already. The, the packaging is, is obviously really nice. Um, it's like, uh, try and get it so you can actually see it. It's just like the interlude and all the other amouages, except for it's the slightly darker blue. Um, but yeah, otherwise, you know, it's pretty much your standard amouage fare, um, magnetic cap and all that. So when you spray it, it does have a key difference to interlude, and you can probably guess what that's going to be, right? It's not as big, and that's one of the big changes, but it will last forever like i sprayed this yesterday morning and i could still smell it like when i went to bed it was still reeking um but right so straight off the bat you you get interlude straight straight and simple it smells exactly like interlude except you've got this big carroty rooty iris that comes alongside it but otherwise it's interlude like i say that's i think Probably people's first disappointment is that straight off the bat, it's just interlude, but with this huge carroty sort of rooty iris. And then quite quickly, so already, now is changing. So within what, like 30 seconds to a minute, that rooty iris starts turning into that kind of paint iris. You know, you get an iris note that sort of smells almost like white emulsion. Um, 
it changes to that. It, it, it jumps through, for me, the iris in this jumps through three stages really quickly. So you first spray it, you get interlude with a huge um, sort of rooty carroty iris. And then that that changes to like that kind of paint iris, which is where it's at now. And then that lasts for another sort of like 30 seconds to a minute. And then that it transforms again into a much more um, sort of buttery velvet iris. And that's how it's going to then stay for the rest of the fragrance. You get a bit of green from the violet leaf, but honestly, I feel it comes out a lot more later. Um, and the progression of this fragrance is quite interesting in the sense that, again, if you're similar with Interlude, it's the same. Uh, but interestingly, I found that straight away, that iris starts dropping back quite quick in the composition, which is a bit... Say again, like, I think that's possibly another disappointment for some people is that the iris drops back quite fast and you think, was that it? Because now I'm just wearing interlude. Like, you know, this isn't really, it's just an interlude. Um, but for me, like the iris and the violet come back about an hour or two in. Like I, I was like, when I sprayed it, so I was hit with the iris and I was like, great, this is exactly what I wanted. This is interlude, but with iris, um, can't go wrong. And then after about sort of 30 minutes, I felt, well, the, the iris has dropped back so much that now this is just interlude. Why am I not just wearing interlude? You know, what's the point in this, in the flanker? And then about an hour after that, suddenly that iris and that violet leaf came back much stronger. And I was like, whoa, you know, this is, now this is exactly what I wanted. And it, and it does sort of have that in the progression. So it is quite interesting in the way it progresses. Otherwise, the other really big change um, is this is much softer to me. It's cooler fragrance, lighter. Um, you know, it's not as heavy and dense. That that the violet leaf um, and iris being like quite a cool note just sort of like lets it like lift up and be a bit more airy. And that for me is the big difference. Um, I love the original interlude. Um, I've got it in so many different iterations. I've got the original interlude. I've got Eterno by San, um, Simone Andreoli, which is like a sort of very Italian version of Interlude. Um, and I've got the Arda Zafran um, dupe of Interlude, which is again Interlude, but with a slightly different take. And now I've got this one. Um, but this one for me um, is a bit, it sort of straddles the line between the Simone Andreoli. It takes the good parts of that version of Interlude and it takes also the good version of the Arda Zafran, the, the thing that I like about the Arda Zafran cheapy dupe of Interlude, in that it's lighter and it takes that, that the kind of lightness and easier wearability of Interlude. Because for me, and this is what makes, this is I think going to be the crux of the matter for a lot of people. The original Interlude is great, but it's a beast. And sometimes it's a bit of a ball ache. Like for me, like, I found it quite an impressive fragrance sometimes and it was just a bit heavy and dense. This is much lighter. This is much more wearable, much more friendly. It feels like a, a sort of lighter, area version of Interlude. Um, and I think like that is going to make, it just makes it more versatile and easier to wear. And I think that's what's going to like snag a lot of people. I think if you're really into Interlude because you really like that, beast mode raw walk into a room and everyone smells you before you even like foot through the door you this might again be a bit of a disappointment um but if you like the interlude but you don't like that which is my style a bit more i don't really like other people even smelling my fragrances that much like i wear them like as a personal thing um i, I appreciate that i i like it for that um so for me, that's why this is, is up there as like the the best version of Interlude now because it, it's got the iris that I, that I really like and it's got the, the lower projection and the, the slightly closer feel, which again, I really like and it's it's lighter. Um, so, but otherwise, it's dead easy to describe. It's just Interlude, but that the iris note, I suppose that's all that needs explaining really. It's not powdery. Um, it's not 
sort of uh, lipsticky too much. It's got that kind of makeup plastic kind of vibe to it. But for me, it's more of a buttery, smooth iris. Um, it gives it almost like a kind of velvety, buttery sort of heart. And, and, and I like that because one of the things with the original interlude is, is it was a bit spiky, like at times. Like I thought, like I used to feel like sometimes some of those top kind of uh, like spicier elements of it were a little bit sharp um, on top of those like dark woods. Because I mean, if you're not familiar with interlude, I mean, so far I've explained this as if you're all familiar with interlude, but if you're not, it's a dark woody fragrance with a, a, a load of smoke um, but not huge amounts of smoke. Again, this one, the smoke is quite calm in this one. Um, but it, it, but it, but it's like a dark, woody, smoky fragrance with sort of like these sort of greener spices on the top and a, and a whole ton of sort of sticky resinous Middle Eastern sort of incense in the middle. Um, uh, so that's the kind of basic vibe of Interlude. Um, but say so this one, it, it adds to that middle where you've got the, the the kind of spikier spices and the um the, the the incense it just kind of fills that middle with this very smooth velvety kind of transitional pit like area f that takes it from like the violet leaf on the top which is giving it that airiness to the darkness of the woods um and 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 the iris for me acts as like a, a very smooth velvety transition between the two um Personally, I say I think it's great. I think it's getting hammered, uh, not hammered, but the reviews or, or the the first impressions that I've read on the groups are, are not good, I, and I sort of feel a bit bad for the fragrance in a way. I feel like people have, have bought it thinking this is going to be like this revolutionary version of Interlude. It's not. Like I said right from the start, it's really not. It's just Interlude, but it's got. An interesting twist. You have to say it, it's like a twist on interlude rather than something wholly new. Um, so I think if you go in there with those expectations, then you're going to be okay with it. But if you go in there with anything higher than that, you're going to just smell it and be like, well, what, why am I wearing this? Why am I not wearing the original interlude? Unless, of course, you're like me and you like it being a bit closer and you love Iris, and then this is clearly the interlude you want to go for. Say, do I think you need them both? No, I think one makes the other redundant. So you have to sort of, I mean, you could have both from if you really like interludes, no problem. But I, I genuinely think like one is too close to the other to need them both. I think it's that would be a colossal waste of money. Um, I think you'd be much better off just deciding which one of the two you like the more. If you want the big beast enter the room, everyone smells you, hugely dark, hugely smoky interlude, um, go with original interlude. If you want something a bit lighter, a bit smoother, a bit more sort of velvety in the middle, a bit buttery in the middle with that kind of cooler iris and, uh, and slight green of the violet leaf that kind of lifts it up and makes it a bit more versatile, a bit softer, a bit closer wearing, go with black iris. That's the long and the short of it. Um, say otherwise this is a really familiar scent like it, it, this is you. if you know Interlude you know this already um, it's exactly what it says on the box it's Interlude Black Iris um, and that's exactly what it is I'm really pleased with it I'm not disappointed I, I think it's really good I think it's um, say a lot of people are sort of like smelling them and selling them on straight away and thinking like they don't want it and I think those people probably thought that it was going to be something it wasn't. Um, but otherwise, that's Interlude Black Iris. I, I think they've done a good job with it. I can see why some people might be disappointed in that it's just a flanker and that's all it is. Because 100%, it's just a flanker of Interlude. It's not anything to get that excited about. But it's certainly not bad. Um, it's really good. I think it's a really good flanker of Interlude. Um so yeah, that's my opinions really. Basically, interlude, smoother, softer, velvetier middle, bit lighter, bit easy to wear. If you like iris and you like interlude, no brainer. Uh, you know, that simple really. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope this might help a little bit. I think it's pretty honest. Uh, you know, I always try and be honest on my channel. Um, 
I, I would hammer this if I didn't like it, but I, I do. So, you know, that's that really. I, and that's that. So yeah, Amourage, uh, Interlude Black Iris. Um, whether or not it's for you, I guess that's that's a decision you got to make, really. Um, that, that's the kind of the big decision. But um, I think it's quite an easy one. Um, I think, you know, if you like Interlude and you like Iris, no brainer. If you like Interlude and you don't like Iris, again, just buy the original. Um, you don't need them both, 100%. Um, yeah, that's that. Nice one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.